this is Lyman Morse's newest facility uh, for building and refits in Thomaston, Maine. I'm here to have a look at their diff at 70. They're in the process of building. Only shown by, by Stephen, Stephen Tofield and uh, Cabot Lyman. The mock up, which we'll go to see first, is down in their Tenants Harbour location. Tofield. Diff at 70, coming on the aft deck, past the steering pedestals in their present location, aft deck area, uh, overhead traveller. Um, it's a fair amount of space on the side decks. In the cockpit area, seating area, which could, you could bring the steering forward into here. You could put a hard dodger on here. Um, and down into the saloon, upper, upper saloon port, seating area. Looking back round into the companionway and down aft to the aft cabins and around starboard to the nav station. There's pretty good visibility out the pilot house windows. And then proceeding down to the galley starboard and the smoking area port. We're now looking from the galley back up to the upper saloon then round to the smoking room at port forward. This is dark um, wood veneer area. Um, it's very closed in. Uh, this area could do a lot with push the push the saloon forward maybe. Um, here's the galley sinks. Looking round to the stove, there's not a huge amount of countertop space here. And then the fridge in the aft end of the galley. Uh, Um, and going past the mast forward to the forward starboard crew um, cabin, upper and lower. I think this is designed as a crew cabin, the upper and lower forward starboard. This works quite well, a fair amount of space. Looking forward through into the forward starboard head and shower, shower forward of the head. Uh, coming out of the starboard forward cabin, back towards the galley and going round to the port forward cabin. The door there. This is a twin berth or a very small queen. A fair amount of drawer space, storage space here, hanging locker going through into the head and uh, shower forward there. Here we're coming out through the galley up into the pilot house once again. Coming down into the aft passageway area. And through into the large aft cabin with a central berth. And there's a desk area with a seat uh, to starboard. There's also a pilot berth up top there to starboard and also another one round to port there with hanging lockers and the forward bulkhead and you can see the head there forward of the desk area into the head shower in there, not easy to see and back out and into the aft hallway where the nav, uh, engine room door would be and we're coming into the port aft upper and lower cabin here which would share this shower and head with the starboard aft upper and lower. This cabin seems quite small but uh, I think in a in a light Full mica and trim. It might be uh, with a with a port light in it. It could feel large enough. Not a whole lot of floor space. Good seabirds though. Now we're looking across to the starboard aft cabin, which is very small. 
upper and lower, very small amount of floor space. However, it was dark in here, and in the actual cabin itself, it felt a lot bigger with the porthole and a lot of light. Coming out of the starboard aft cabin, up into the saloon, starboard hand nav desk chart table salon again and looking down into the hallway aft another view of the upper salon area dining area nav station back up the companionway to the cockpit let's leave the uh, aft deck free for tender storage and a long passage um, Depending on the design of your transom, you could have davits there for easy tender uh, launching, have a couple of real winches for shorelines, anything like that. All in all, very adaptable.